Hey everyone, I'm here today to shed some light on a topic that's both urgent and heart-wrenching, the situation in Gaza. As the conflict between Israel and Hamas escalates, the people of Gaza are caught in the middle, struggling for survival. Just recently, I came across a piece of news that hit hard. The UN World Food Programme has been distributing high-energy biscuits in Gaza, a meager yet crucial attempt to address the dire food shortages. But here's the heartbreaker. Even these small efforts are fraught with challenges. Imagine the first aid from a newly established US peer designed to deliver essential supplies, reaching those in desperate need, only to see convoys overrun and supplies stolen amidst chaos. It's a scene out of a nightmare, one where famine has begun to take hold, especially in northern Gaza. This isn't just a regional issue, it's a global humanitarian crisis. Just the other day, amidst international outcry, Israel's war cabinet decided to resume talks on releasing hostages, a move pushed forward by the desperate pleas of families. And on the international stage, the pressure mounts, with the International Court of Justice stepping in, urging for a cease in military operations. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a flicker of hope as the US prepares to take a lead role in the reconstruction of Gaza post-conflict. Plans are in place to appoint a senior civilian advisor to help stabilize the region. This isn't just about rebuilding structures, but restoring lives and communities. So what can we do? First, we need to talk about it. We need to make sure that these stories don't just disappear into the next news cycle. We need to keep our eyes open, our hearts ready to empathize, and our minds prepared to take action. Whether it's through raising awareness, supporting humanitarian efforts, or simply educating ourselves and others about the complexities of such conflicts, every little action counts. Remember, change starts with awareness, and peace is built on the foundation of understanding and compassion. Let's not turn away from the hard truths. Let's face them head on and work towards a future where such tragedies are a thing of the past. Thanks for tuning in, and let's keep this conversation going.